Fannie Mae announces it will begin marketing its first ever bulk sale of non-performing mortgage loans. And a U.S. senator is calling for more transparency from the government with regards to the sweeping of GSE profits into Treasury. Ahead on Thursday's News Wrap. Fannie Mae announced on Wednesday that it will make available for purchase to qualified bidders a bundle of approximately 3,200 non-performing single-family residential mortgage loans, totaling about $786 million in unpaid principal balance. This will be Fannie Mae's first bulk sale of NPLs as the GSEs push to clear deeply delinquent loans from their mortgage portfolios at the behest of their conservator, the Federal Housing Finance Agency. Marketing for the NPL sale began Wednesday and bids are due on May 6th. Fannie Mae said it expects the sale to close in mid to late June. According to Fannie Mae, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, Credit Suisse and the Williams Capital Group are acting as advisors for the NPL sale. Fannie Mae's fellow GSE, Freddie Mac, has already conducted three bulk NPL sales in the last eight months, totaling approximately $1.97 billion in UPB. U.S. Senator Chuck Grassley, a Republican from Iowa and chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, has written separate letters to U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder and U.S. Department of Treasury Secretary Jack Lew seeking more transparency from the government regarding the sweeping of GSE profits into Treasury. According to an announcement on Grassley's website, the senator's letters were based on a report that originally appeared in the New York Times regarding the withholding of documents related to Treasury's agreement and claims of the assertion of executive privilege by the government. You can check out these stories and all the latest happenings in the industry right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Friday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.